Are you sure you don't want to get out? Stretch your legs. I'm all right here, thanks. Do like, darling. Long as you like. Long as... Oh, yeah. no, there's no need to scream. mean to get angry. There's no need to scream. She didn't scream. She just shouted a bit. Not before, but she does normally. You don't see us normally. You, you hardly even know us. N not really. Well, I know you love each other, and sometimes the... You before, but she does normally. You don't see us normally. You, you hardly even know us. N not really. Well, I know you love each other, and sometimes the people you love are the ones you argue with the most, just because you can. Are you sure you don't want to get out? Stretch your legs. I'm all right here, thanks. Do you mind if we stay? We can stay as long as you like, darling. As long as you like. I'm all right here, thanks. Do you mind if we stay? We can stay as long as you like, darling. As long as you like. We can stay as long as you like, darling. As long as you like. Stay as long as you like, darling. As long as you like. As you like. Mum. No. Mum. 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 Please, send an ambulance. I've had my mum. I think you've killed my mum. Kid, someone please, come help us, please. Come help us, please. <laughs> No sign of a break-in. It's just a Places which eventually became the law. But by speaking out, the rest of society had not been recognised. Well, it's not the first time Sir Liam has cognised. Well, it's not the first time Sir Liam has In his annual report, the government's health advisor said the nation is blighted by passive drinking and that the damage caused to the rest of society had not been recognised. Well, it's not the first time Sir Liam has caused a stir. Six years ago, he called for a ban on smoking in public places, which eventually became the law. But by speaking at the government's health advisor said the nation is blighted by passive drinking. In his annual report, the government's health advisor said the nation is blighted by passive drinking and that the damage caused to the rest of society had not been recognised. Well, it's not the first time Sir Liam has caused the stir. Six years ago, he called for a ban on smoking in Boston, which caused to the rest of society had not been recognised. Well, it's not the first time Sir Liam has caused the stir. Six years ago, he called for a ban on smoking in public places, which eventually called for a ban on smoking in Boston. The damage was blighted by passive drinking, and that the damage caused to the rest of society had not been recognised. Well, it's not the first time Sir Liam has caused the stir. Six years ago, he called for a ban on smoking in public places, which eventually became the law. But by speaking out on alcohol, some feel he's a party pooper who should keep his nose out of people's lifestyle choices. But Claire Bolison gets to the heart of the nation's doctor. On Bolison gets to the heart of the nation's doctor. Who's that? Some feel he's a party pooper who should keep his nose out of people's lifestyle. Who must say so? Of course, for Bitterland has ruffled feathers curve. It is blighted by passive drink of no. But by speaking out on alcohol, some feel he's a party pooper. Speaking out on alcohol, some feel he's a party And that the damage caused to the rest of society had not been recorded. It's been doctor on profile tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. For those living in poverty, and that encompasses the old... Young but owing to to change. The first, a bill designed to help people who can't afford to heat. The first, a bill designed to help people who can't afford to heat their homes failed at its first aim. Constitutionally dubious, and the new power cut to the Commons next week. 
Why a Commons Committee thinks the government's conduct over the equitable life affair has been shabby and constitutionally dubious, and the new power couple at the top of the Westminster food chain. But first, a bill designed to help people who can't afford to heat their homes failed at its first hurdle in the Commons this morning. The Liberal Democrat MP once their homes failed at its first hurdle in the Commons this morning. The Liberal Democrat MP David Heath had cross-party backing for his fuel poverty bill, which called for a programme of home insulation to cut the cost of keeping warm, and which would have allowed people on low incomes to be charged a low-cost social tariff for their fuel. This bill is good news for the health to be a social tariff for their fuel. This bill is good for those living in poverty, and that encompasses the old, young families and people with disabilities. It's good for the health of the nation, the public health uh, of uh, the United Kingdom. It's good, very good, for the environment. And at a time when it's desperately needed, it's good for the economy. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, I think support for this bill is a no-brainer. He said it was a national disgrace. Because they cannot do both. His bill has the of all older people stay in bed in order to keep warm. It cannot be right that one in ten older people in this, this country cut back on essentials such as food and clothes in order to pay the fuel bills because they cannot do both. His bill would require that fuel poverty was eliminated by 2016. Labour's Lindsay Hoyle pointed the stop at the program in his banks, but it wasn't in his bill. But the Conservative spokesman... And they are rewarded with even higher charges. Yeah. I really feel this isn't good. He should have to invest, to invest elsewhere instead. He said a Conservative government would offer... No tax on worldwide, that they do not see the United Kingdom as the most attractive place to invest, and if a windfall tax was to be imposed, then th th there is no doubt that they would look to invest elsewhere That's instead. Yes. He said a Conservative government would offer up to £6,500 to every household to improve energy efficiency. The Liberal Democrat Annette Brooke pointed to the effect of the energy charging system. Our poorest and most prudent constituents use prepayment payment meters and they are rewarded with even higher charges. I really feel this is disgraceful. A view shared by the former Health Secretary, Labour's Frank Dobson. The badly off who live in badly insulated homes end up uh, not just being cold, but paying the uh, fuel and power companies more to be left in the cold than the well off and well insulated pay to be kept warm. The Conservative Oliver Heald attacked the government's priorities. Any bank they want. 25 billion, they get it. Oh, here you go, Lloyds, here you go, RBS. These people he's been rightly criticising for their mismanagement. But when it comes to trying to do up poor people's homes so they have proper energy efficiency, we're told it's unaffordable. But critics of the bill thought it was well-meaning but misconceived. This was the Labour MP, Stephen Pound. The problem I have, Mr Deputy Speaker, is that in for anyone to oppose the Honourable Gentleman's Bill, would be in the same position as someone who is photographed kicking a puppy. He said the bill would simply get in the way of what the government was already doing. We do have already in existence a programme, a plan and a policy which is attainable, achievable and costed. An attempt to end the debate and move to a vote failed when Mr Heath was unable to muster the necessary hundred votes in favour, and that allowed the Energy Minister Joan Ruddock to reply. She outlined the steps the government had taken and said that even the support for the bill from non-government organisations like Friends of the Earth and Help the Aged didn't persuade her. Understandably, however, those NGOs with an interest in this field have spoken up on behalf of their constituents. That is their job and we respect them for it. But as a government, we have to take decisions for the whole country and for the whole economy. She continued speaking, despite protests from Mr Heath and his supporters, till debating time ran out, which means that the bill will not now proceed. Now, this week, the Commons Public Administration Committee thundered. It's shabby and proper. Hort the government to pay compensation. Two of the men, as they